Hey everybody, today I'm reviewing Bronze Doll Self Tanning Spray. Um, I gave this self tanner 3.25 out of 5 stars, so it was better than average and I did like it. I would have ranked it higher if it weren't for the awful application process. I was just so messy and time consuming. Um, this is a 4.23 ounce bottle and I got this online. Um, it sells for $15 and it also comes with a tanning mitt. Um, so that works out to $3.23 per ounce, which is definitely cheaper than your average self tanner. It's not a bad price. However, I didn't get a tanning mitt with mine. Even though it said it came with one, I ordered mine off Amazon, so maybe that's why, even though they claimed it came with a mitt as well. Um, and they also sell it with a mitt on their website, but I didn't get one with my order, so I kind of feel a little bit gypped. <laughs> Lucky for them, I have a ton of tanning mitts. So. And that's actually absolutely necessary to have one when applying this. I'll get into that in a second. Um, so this is a continuous spray. It's not like a pump spray, it's continuous. It's an aerosol spray. And it comes out with a really dark guide. So as you apply it to your skin, you'll see it's a really dark brown color. The mist itself is very fine, but when you spray it, a lot of product comes out. Um, the smell is very rich. It's kind of coconutty and buttery. I liked the smell a lot. It smelled really good. For some of you, it might be a little rich, but the smell doesn't really last too long. Um, the good news is I never smelled any DHA with this one. Even the next morning, I didn't. So I was happy with the smell. The application, that's where this one really, really sucked. Um, so as I was applying it, spraying it to my body, as the directions say to, um, it started dripping down my body just because so much product comes out when you spray it. Luckily, I had applied it in my shower. It was kind of pooling up in the ground, so it was like a brown pool of self-tanner I was standing in. Um, and then I had to use one of my tanning mitts to go over and blend it in after because I had streaks all down my body. So luckily, the mitt saved the day, and I was able to blend in my tan, so it ended up turning out even. But I don't think it would have turned out even if I hadn't have used the mitt afterwards. That's probably why they sell a mitt with this one, even though I didn't receive it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, definitely make sure you have a mitt when you use this one and definitely apply it in your shower because it's really messy. A lot of product falls to the ground and it'll run down your body. Um, drying time with this one was really good. It dried in 15 minutes. After that, I put on my dark clothing and crawled into bed. A little of it did get on my sheets, um, I noticed the next morning, but they did, it did come out in the wash. I just know that some of you are kind of anal about it getting on your stuff and this one has the potential to do that. Um, the color produced. So the next morning I woke up, I was really bronzy and dark. I knew a lot of that had to come from the guide, but after I showered off the guide, I was still dark and bronze and I really liked my tan. It was brown, not orangey, um, even thanks to me blending it in with the mitt, um, and natural. I, I really was happy with the color. For some of you who have very, very pale skin, this one might be too dark. It might end up a little streaky and uneven if it's too dark for you. Um, but it, because it is a pretty dark self tanner, but I was really happy with the way my skin looked. I really liked the color this one produced. Um, my tan lasted about three days and then it started fading pretty quickly. So by like day four or five, it was completely gone and I did get some scaliness to my skin as it, um, as it faded because it was a darker self tanner. Men, I think you will like this one if you can get past the really time consuming and messy application. It produces a nice tan, it smells good, but um, the application is just so messy, so keep that in mind. This isn't one you apply in five minutes and then hop in bed. You'll need a good 30 minutes to apply this one at least because it, it, you do have to pay attention to detail with it. Um, so overall, I ended up giving this one 3.25 out of five stars. And for more information on this self-tanner as well as many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.